Hello and welcome back. Um, KP Crew, next stage, uh, I give you an overview of how KP Crew actually works, uh, what the displays and windows are that you use. Uh, we are here in Stuttgart. Uh, that's the Zebo mod um, on X-Plane 12. And I'm going to show you around now KP Crew. Now, you can't see anything at the moment because initially KP Crew uh, is uh, in the background and it will not show. Uh, it will also not show for aircraft that are not supported. Now, you have the choice to either go and define yourself a number of uh, buttons, keys, yeah, can do both. There are um, several commands. So if you enter crew as a search item here in the joystick or a keyboard uh, association menus, then you will see KP crew and you will see the various possibilities, open a, uh, the windows here, the specific ones. Uh, the one that you also need at the beginning, if you want to put it on a key, is the open master window, because the master window uh, is currently hidden and can be brought up by this command. Now, if you haven't defined, yeah, that's in explain 12, the Zeebo, um, what you can do is you go to fly with Lua, fly with lower macros and you see toggle control window you click that one and then at the lower right you see this special window showing up um, if you don't want to have this use up your screen space you can always use this icon here on the right corner here to um, bring it small or large okay and uh, then you have se several buttons. They mainly are bringing up the various windows. So SOP stands for Standard Operating Procedure. When you click on it, um, sometimes you have to click twice, by the way. That's just the way Fly with Lua, this uh, EMG GUI um, works. Uh, it brings up the whole Standard Operating Procedure. So you see here all the flows and checklists that are defined. Uh, by the way, in the alpha versions, you will still see this test stuff here because that's something where I test certain functionality, um, a quick test kind of, uh, in, in, instead of having to go through large procedures uh, to test one item, I put them in there. Uh, you don't need to use this one. Um, the first real standard operating procedure is um, electrical power up from cold and dark. You also see the flight stages that I have defined at the moment. And uh, yeah, that's uh, all the defined procedures and checklists. The flow window, uh, that shows the currently selected flow. So you can actually select various flows. The test flow is small. <laughs> um, you can do this by clicking here on one of these lines if you have the SOP window open. But what you can also do is use the left and arrow key. So the next and previous button which you can also put on a keyboard to uh, move between the flows. Every flow has a reset button. So if you use one of the more automated uh, um, ways of using KP Crew, then you can reset to the original state and then do it again. You can also reset the whole standard operating procedure because you will see that uh, while you're running through the um, various procedures and checklists, they will change color, at least in one of the half automated or fully automated modes. Um, there's also a reset button down here, which will reset the current flow. It's the same like this one up here. Then you have a pref button for preferences. If you click that, a preference window will open and that has uh, standard preferences for KP Crew as, as a whole, and we're going to go through them in, um, in more detail in another part. Um, and there's also a aircraft specific part. This will change depending on the aircraft that you load, provided it is already supported by KP Crew. So, for example, B738 is a Zebo mod, and uh, there are certain things that you can modify. If you want to make sure that whatever you've changed here as settings is stored, um, you can use the save button and then it will uh, save it uh, under the name here, B738. 
You can give it any name you want. If you click save, it will save it under that name. You need to use that name then in order to load it. So if you press on load, it will uh, load those preferences for you. Um, another important part of a standard operating procedure is, uh, is the briefing, as I call it. So uh, especially in the automated modes, in order to make really use of the automation facilities, um, you need to um, really get information about the flight you're doing. Either manually enter it, there is a possibility to use, to fetch it from SimBrief. I managed to get that working. Also the metars, uh, you can load them from VATSIM, but they depend on the flight section to be filled. Soon as you have uh, airport ICAO codes in here, you can press load meta again, otherwise it will load it automatically and it will show you the metas of the airports that are mentioned in your flight section. And then there are a number of subsections for the flight, for example, the cruise uh, parameters, fuel and load, then taxi details um, for takeoff, departure, ATIS, uh, departure clearance, this is where you could if you are flying online, you would then fill in the various uh, details about your departure route, routing and so on. The departure routing itself, then departure return to airport, that's something that you don't have to use, but if you are flying more realistically and there's a reason that you need to return, you could use this section to set up your return to the uh, to the airport or any other airport that you um, may decide to divert to. Um, the same we have then also on the uh, arrival side. So uh, arrival ATIS, this is usually we pull in information either you can load it by the way from the Watson Meta if there is one or you fill these out manually uh, kind of as a uh, as a, yeah, as, as something uh, to note things in and, and look at again. I like to externalize this window you, uh, and put it on a second screen. If you don't have it, then um, yeah, you need to run it here. Then comes the arrival data, approach uh, information, tower frequencies, uh, also ATC frequencies, which you can, by the way, set there is a little problem in the initial loading of the frequencies, which I have already fixed. Um, and when you see these videos and you download KP Crew Alpha 2, these things will be fixed already for you. Um, then the approach aircraft, approach ground. So this is uh, where you then taxi to the gate or stand uh, and also the ground frequency and then you can actually do briefing. So I have that for both um, ends. So the actual briefing is text that I put together based on the information that you have provided. And if you want, you can kind of read this to you. Uh, I also included a speak button, which would then read this uh, text to you. This is not perfect, but uh, yeah, it's something that for me belongs to to a standard operating procedure and the way to fly um, more realistically. But again, if you do not use this briefing, um, the automation will be less useful for you because if I don't have values uh, in automated modes, then it will set probably set the wrong values for you. Okay, so using automated modes where things are set for you requires you to fill out um, the briefing sections for a flight. What you also can see is the flow window. Um, we are now in a mode, so if we go back to the preferences, I should quickly show you the preferences here. Um, we are currently in a mode which is no assistance. That is a bit like X checklist. If you know that plugin, X checklist will display checklists for you. And uh, you can also use that to do procedures, to show you procedures. Uh, now, X checklist is not going to change anything. It will not automatically set values for you. And the same mode is this here, the no assistance mode. 
is basically um, opening automatically opening the flow window for you. By the way, here you can see also this information window. It shows you the currently selected um, procedure. If you are in any of the other modes, uh, it will also show you the individual steps that you, we have here in this uh, procedure or checklist. And you can click on it in order to trigger the next action. So for example, in the non-assistant mode, uh, we are, let's go to the electrical power up. Uh, when I click on the electrical power up, it will bring up, only bring up the flow window and it will not do anything else. In the more automated modes, it will start going through the items. But again, we do have that in several levels. So the guided mode uh, goes through all the steps, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't automize anything, which means everything that is red will also stop you from continuing until you have fixed what is red, or you can use the next button in order to skip an item. Um, the idea is that the guided mode can be used to not have these big windows here because the guided mode can be run through. So if I, for example, now start up in guided mode, what you will see is it will go through the uh, single steps of the procedure and every time it finds something that needs attention and it will not do anything for you, this goes red. And now you either go and uh, switch uh, the power switch, DC power switch to BUT, or um, you can skip it by uh, clicking on the next button. Now that's uh, a mode where I want to do everything myself, but uh, I kind of need assistance um, to where do I still have to get active. This just helps me to also check. Now, Probably the unassisted, mo uh, the guided mode um, is like the, the just showing the flow. And here you can see now how things also change color if they are correct. If we skip things instead of fixing them, they will stay red. Okay. So only the things that uh, are in the correct mode or are not available. That's another possibility. I can just put them green and skip them because if they're not available for an aircraft, there's no point trying to, to make these. The next mode would be um, some automation. Now, some automation follows the following principle. Anything that your first officer or pilot monitoring, so the guy on the right side, basically, or the girl, um, Anything that the other pilot does for you, because the, the SOP is based on you being the captain and then the virtual co-pilot uh, being uh, the scripts. Anything that is function of the other pilot sitting beside you will be automated. Anything that is your role, like captain, pilot flying, there's a number of roles that uh, need to be done. Um, will not be executed. That means, in this case, the whole procedure would run through, but there are other procedures. Let me reset this one here, and we switch to a captain's, here, the pre-flight procedure captain, and you can assume that very few, and this is probably, a, yeah, some of these might actually be wrong, I just realized, I need to correct some of the roles here, and that means that the majority of the steps, the red steps here, will not be executed upon. So you need to go and, for example, start the car cargo fire test yourself. That's the idea. And then there's the fully automated mode, fully automatic. Um, that just runs through. That means here you, uh, I usually run this without any open windows. Yeah, I just use the master down here and then I start the respective procedure. So I'm going to start the test procedure because it's not doing much. Yeah, this was just a test and uh, it executes and when it's done, it's green. Normally there should not be any red items. 
sometimes due to bugs or changes here in Explain 12, for example, it could be that something that has worked before does not work, then you might get stuck. Then again, you can use the next button to skip it or you manually fix the problem, whatever it is, uh, and then continue with the fully automatic flow. I hope that I am really at a point where you won't see much issues, but we shall see. The funny thing is, while I was um, preparing the video, I discovered a number of issues <laughs> that I didn't realize. I made some changes recently, which um, were not tested with the initial setup. So the video now helped me to actually find some problems with the initial setup. So just unpacked KP Crew for the very first time things. Um, but by the time you see this window, I will have corrected the KP Crew download zip file and hopefully you should not see these issues uh, anymore. That's it. Uh, thank you very much. And in the next part, uh, we are going to start um, running a flight from beginning to end uh, with all the various uh, steps like briefings and preparing the aircraft, also uh, preparing some settings and I will show you a bit more about uh, execution of the flows. Okay, until next time.